Hi my beautiful Scorpios and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your June the 28th till, or sorry, your May the 28th till June the 4th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for June I'll be doing a giveaway and I'll be choosing two separate winners. Each of the winners will get to win a free 15 minute personal reading from me. So if you're interested, all you have to do is either subscribe to my channel or in the description box below you'll see a link to my Instagram and you can follow me there. I've also listed below all the information you guys need for my personal readings. So if this resonates or in general you just want a reading that is just based on yours and your person's energy, my information will be down below. I'm also doing a special for questions this week, so I'll be doing $10 questions for the week or for the month, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to start off with your romance angels. So let's see what can we get for my beautiful Scorpios. So in the pre-shuffle, like I just saw, it is safe for you to love. And when I was doing the pre-shuffle, I saw the hangman and the uh, page of cups. So it looks like some of you guys are feeling a little bit unsure um, and, un, you know, unsure if you can open up yourself to this person, if you could trust this person with your heart, with your feelings. And that's because this person is at a standstill. This person isn't really making any moves. It's like they're interested, but they haven't made any moves. You have no idea where this person stands. And it's because there's a delay. I feel like the delay is for a higher purpose. But it does look like, you know, with the Page of Cups that I saw, that they are going to be expressing their love to you, communicating with you, how they truly feel. This is definitely the energy of somebody new that is coming in, um, or this could be somebody younger than you, but it does look like they are finally going to be stepping up their game and offering you something, or at least expressing how they feel towards you this week. Okay, so that was just for the pre-shuffle. Now let's see what we can get. What can we get from the 28th until the 4th of June? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. So we start off with express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Then we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And then we end off with deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. For some of you, I feel like, you know, this could be you wearing the false mask and it's not really, you know, a deception, you know, cheating, lying, manipulative energy. It's more of the fact that there could be a friend that you have been interested in or somebody, you know, that you met recently that you're very attracted to. And you've really been, you know, this could be somebody that you've had more of a friend type relationship with. So you're not really sure how to express the fact that you feel more towards them. Or this could be the other person's energy, but it's like the false mess that I'm seeing here is about not really, you know, telling somebody that you're attracted to them or that they're attracted to you. There's kind of like an energy of a hidden and it's like hidden motives but not for bad reasons for reasons of being unsure as to what you know expressing yourself will do to this connection because you don't want to lose the connection either way so I do see that you know you are feeling attracted to somebody and there you know this could be a situation where you and somebody are both feeling attracted to each other but you're not really making the move towards each other you're just kind of like going with the flow seeing where things go but because of that neither one of you have made a move so neither one of you know how the other one's feeling so you're both just kind of prolonging the inevitable by just kind of going with the flow and not really showing that you're attracted to this person It also could be that you are deceiving yourself or this person could be deceiving themselves of seeing the true potential or experiencing the true potential of what this relationship or this connection could be because of the fact that somebody is not expressing their love and holding back how they truly feel. So show me what do Scorpios need to see about their love life for this week coming up. Reveal Scorpio's love life for the week ahead. Reveal Scorpio's love life for the week ahead.
looks like somebody that is interested in you is taking a lot longer to you know come towards you with that offer of stability that you've been waiting for and it's like you've been waiting for a very long time and you've been very patient and you've been putting in the energy and the effort into this relationship so that it can move farther but you're just kind of still waiting and it's like you know they are planning to move ahead but it's like they're kind of doing it behind your back they're doing it in a way where it's going to be kind of like a surprise because they're not really acting like they're interested or really showing any of it and it's honestly like something that is going on subconsciously with them where it's like for some reason like they feel like it needs to be a surprise maybe or for some reason they don't even realize that they're doing it but it's like they're really going to go from not really showing movement um to you know showing lots of movement and it's just going to be like you know it's going to just it's going to be like the complete opposite they're going to do a complete 360 but it's because they've been having these feelings for you for a very long time they've just kept their feelings hidden their emotions hidden and it's definitely because of the fact that they've been hurt in the past i do see that they are coming out of that and they're coming into a time in their life where they're able to have a new start you know they're going to have a change in you know the way that they're thinking about committing the way that they're thinking about love and expressing themselves instead of feeling like it will get them in the same place as before they've kind of you know healed from that cycle this week and because of that they're going to be able to move forward this is a lot of forward movement between the two of you guys that i see here this week it's like everything that they were you know holding back from you they're going to finally express it towards you this could definitely be you know if this person lives far from you they could be traveling towards you to tell you this or they could be taking you out at night on a date or something like that to a dinner to tell you this um but it does look like you know whatever feelings were held back are definitely going to be you know revealed um they're not going to be able to hold how they're feeling back anymore and i feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that you're kind of acting as if or not acting like this could just be exactly how you feel and it's just like you're not really putting as much energy and attention because they're not showing you how stable you know they're not showing you what they want with you what their intentions are you know it's almost as if they are held back by fear but they're not really telling you that they're held back by fear so it's like what are, are you supposed to think about the situation you know are you really going to wait around no you're going to you know try to move on and you know because of that i think they're going to really realize and they're really going to start to move towards you it's like they're going to use their intuition to know that they can trust you and they can open up to you or this could be you with this person but it's like the potential between the two of you guys we have the hierophant here so it's like there's a lot of spiritual growth that is around this higher knowledge learnings teachings that the two of you guys are going to share and be experiencing because you guys are on a path that is going to lead you both to enlightenment but also towards you know growing into your better selves your higher selves learning lots of lessons from being with each other and you know separately but around the same time you guys are both kind of on the same journey of lessons that needs to be learned this could also be talking about the fact that there is potential for marriage with this person. This is somebody that you're interested in marrying, somebody that you can see yourself having a long, stable relationship with. And, you know, we have the Knight of Pentacles here. So it's like with the Knight of Pentacles and the Hierophant, it's like, yes, they did 100% want something long, long term with you. It's just that they didn't know how to express that to you because they didn't want to tell you this is what I see with you, but I can't give you this yet. You know, for them, even though that would have been better for you, it would have gave you a peace of mind. For them it just didn't seem right it was like they couldn't tell you anything until they were 100 percent sure that that's what they could offer and maybe it's because maybe they thought one day i might change my mind before i'm ready to offer it but whatever reason it was they aren't going to express themselves until they're completely ready and i do see that they will be expressing themselves to you this week and um it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be great. You guys are going to be able to communicate with each other on a way more mature level and on an emotional level. Things that you haven't been able to say to each other, you're going to be able to say and it's going to take your relationship to the next level. It's like if there was anything hidden between the two of you guys, it's all coming out to light. And, you know, it's not that anything bad was hidden because what's really going to happen when everything comes into the light is that you guys are going to move to the next level in your relationship. It's like trust is finally going to be built between the two of you guys. So we have the temperance, the sun, and the queen of wands. So it definitely looks like, you know, patience was a huge part in this. It could be that you needed to learn patience, that they needed to learn patience. It's almost as if you both maybe had a past of rushing into things and realizing that you know quickly after that after you put all of your energy into it that it really wasn't right for you so it's like learning 
to be slow and kind of go with the flow and allow things to happen naturally instead of controlling them and wanting them now, now, now. You know, it's like that was a lesson that you both needed to learn within this. It was all about higher knowledge and, you know, higher knowledge and, you know, spiritual teachings. And it's like you had the patience to get through this. And now, you know, you're going to be able to enjoy with the sun. You're going to be able to enjoy that beautiful relationship, that happy relationship that could definitely, you know, this with the Hierophant and um, the sun. This is about, you know committing and happy marriage happy relationship this is they're both marriage cards um and with the these two are soulmate cards as well right so it's like this is your soulmate but it really was all about divine timing it was about patience or was it was about building the connection even with the knight of pentacles him taking his time to come to you or her taking her time to come to you and to open up and having the patience of the temperance you know it's all about divine timing and allowing things to happen naturally when they are meant to happen and, you know, because you guys were able to do that, you're going to have that beautiful relationship that you wanted with each other. Some of you may be, you know, you may have been on this rocky path with somebody for a very long time and it's now time for you guys to get married and have children for some of you. But it does look like, you know, what you were unsure about and what you, you know, not being able to trust them and all that is all going to go away. You're completely going to be able to, you know, trust this person because you're going to see like as soon as you guys open up to each other you're going to have that beautiful happy relationship and it's like it's almost like going from dark to light within the situation it's like you see everything clearly now you know how they feel about you they know how you feel about them and you guys can just focus on moving forward anything that happened in the past as soon as you guys have this conversation is pretty much going to be gone and over with because you guys have such a beautiful future ahead of you this is absolutely beautiful and with the queen of wands here it's like you have you may be gaining your confidence back because of this, because of all of, all of this stuff that is happening, or this is just you embracing that beautiful energy of feeling confident and feeling, you know, successful. This is a woman who is very confident, very successful, very attractive. There's a lot of sexual energy between the two of you guys. This person is very sexually attracted to you. And with the sunflowers here, this is all about growth and illumination, right? It's like, this is a time of growth for you, a time of expansion, um a time for you to really realize what it is that you want in life and for you to be able to go after it this is you realizing your flaws and your um like the good things and the bad things and allowing them to work for you instead of you know only working with your good things and not you know just kind of ignoring your bad things you're kind of letting them both work for you because you're becoming you know what's the word i'm looking for it's like you're more than happy with who you are and all aspects of who you are as a person. And that is really a lesson that you needed to learn within your life. Um, it's a lesson that we all need to learn. But, you know, recently I feel like this was something that you really, really needed to learn. And it does look like that is coming in for you where you're really going to be feeling on top of your game and just completely satisfied with who you are. You're going to be in an energy where you know that, you know, what's for you is going to come for you and that you have the motivation, the persistence and, um ambition to get anything you want in life whether that's love whether that's career you know whatever it is you want you have the motivation you have the push and the knowledge as well with the hierophant here to get anything and everything that you want so you're really going to be embracing that queen energy so this is absolutely beautiful um i really hope that this resonates with you if it does and you would like a personal reading my information is down below i hope you guys have a wonderful week and i will see you guys soon bye my loves